by now, right? The former president in this series of heroic scenarios. Uh, you may laugh, but by the way, they sold out and brought in more than four million bucks. I guess that's how you put it, right? Sold out. Who knows when it comes to um, NFTs? Again, don't know much here about the NFTs. Uh, but our friends, the good liars, they didn't think they quite captured the former president and came up with what they're calling um, the honest Trump cards. There's the all caps hero um, honoring Trump's usual uh, social media posting style. Uh, builder hero showing the former president in front of the very small part of the wall that he built. And mocking hero memorializing the time that Trump mocked a disabled reporter. And the good liars, Devron Stiefler and Jason Selvig, um, are joining us now. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Um, so there was this major announcement being teased by the former president, right? Everyone was like, what's he going to do? What's he going to say? What's this announcement going to be? And then these NFTs came out. And boy, oh boy, were they something. At what point, Devron, Jason, either one of you, um, did you guys say, all right, we got to readjust and make the real thing, these honest cards? Well, we kind of like at the very, the, when he made the announcement, we because we were thinking like other people were, we were speculating, like, what is this major announcement yeah. going to be? Is it actually going to be a big announcement? Is he going to be the Speaker of the House? Is it something crazy going to happen? <laughs> and then it was these NFTs. And we were like, oh, my gosh, it really is like very Trump. Uh, and then when we saw them, we were like, these Trump NFTs do not accurately represent who Trump is. You know, he was never a cowboy. He was never an astronaut. <laughs> and he presents himself like this heroic figure. But in reality, he's, you know, kind of a sad, sad man who still hasn't come to the terms with the fact that he lost the 2020 election by 7 million votes. So, so we so wanted to create some NFTs to, to commemorate the things that he'll actually be remembered by. Really, Jason, turning the screw, aren't you, right? Just mentioning over and over again the 7 million <laughs> vote loss. Um, did I mention that he lost the election by 7 million <laughs> votes? 2020 did not win. And he lost the popular lost. vote in, in 2016 by about 3 million as well. So, yeah, he's never won the popular <laughs> vote, Donald Trump. And I, I want to say that for the record. It's interesting that you guys bring up the whole um, losing mentality because you had another one as well that I want to show folks. Um, the 2020 loser. Um, there you go. Uh, we see it right there. Face and all. Expressions um, at all. Trump obviously looking very sad there. I wouldn't expect, Devron, this one to be very popular um, with the folks that voted for him, but why this one? Uh, you know, like we mentioned, he lost the popular vote. Not sure if we mentioned that. Lost the election. How much did uh, that buy? It was by about seven, 7 million. million. Uh, I, I guess, uh, you know, as we said, we wanted to make an honest version of these, and we felt like his were incredibly dishonest uh, and expensive. And we can't believe, you know, he made about $5 million <laughs> or something nice. like that for people to possibly have dinner with him uh, the whole thing seemed like just an incredible grift and he had finally gone all the way like to just be like it's nfts uh there's no physical thing i mean it's even worse than trump stakes or trump university which i guess maybe they got a real diploma yeah at some i think point. they got at least something it's, out of that and, and trump trump stakes yeah. you at least got a stake. you got a stake this is fully imaginary uh and people spent money on it i feel like finally we could all see where the bar was for you know, those who support Trump uh, in an undying way, five million bucks. I, I want to show what you guys are anticipating is going to happen as we're awaiting um, these criminal referrals from uh, the January 6th committee. And this one is called um, Jail Hero, um, I believe. And Jason, I, I'm wondering if this is a play on where you're expecting the former president to be spending his time um, in the future. Tell me this one. I am not going to be one of the people who says TikTok eyeball emoji. It's all falling down for Trump right now because I, I, I've, I've been wrong so many times about that. I, and a lot of people have been wrong about that. So I'm not going to say he's definitely going to go to jail. See, I, I think that image is him looking at people who are arrested on January 6th. Oh. He's looking from outside of the bars. Oh, that's uh, heroic, actually. Yeah, for that's all oh, the people that he... Oh, that's how you're viewing it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's open to interpretation. This is art, right? Um, 
So <laughs> I, I was imagining that he's looking at the people that he's responsible for for putting in jail. He's a little bummed about it, but he's not doing much. That is so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is really is yeah. it, it really shows the various interpretations that we can have um, as viewers um, looking at art. I want, let's show this one as well. We know we know the former president likes his fast food. Um, right, we, he's been pictured along piles and piles of fast, fast food. This one is called Burger Hero Trump. I wonder though, is it also the Incredible Hulk? Why, why are they all green? <laughs> I just felt like there's something on his inside, like that, that these are a representation of what he is inside, uh, inside Trump. Green with and envy he, or, it, or like ill or? I, oh, this I is think, great. This is like we're at MoMA right now, yeah. looking at beautiful art. Green with like... money, maybe. <laughs> Green with greed. Yeah. We 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 have a, an artist friend who didn't 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 want credit for it, but took a few liberties. We think he did a great job. We gave him some direction, uh, but he ran with it, and we think he did a great job. So not every decision. We we got it out by the way later the same day that Trump put his out. So uh, there was a certain amount of speed with which this had to be done. Um, let's just end on a high note. Jason, did you have your baby? I did. Oh, congratulations. I did. I'm, I'm, yeah, we filmed yesterday and it's been a it's been a, a lot of not sleeping, but it's been uh wonderful at the same time. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, wonderful at the same time, sure. Um, Jason Scully, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> to Bronx Stiefler, thank you as well. Still ahead, everybody. Uh